Hello, Rick7, and welcome back to Strategic Command American Civil War, or Wars in the Americas, I suppose, to more appropriately uh, cover the bits and pieces we've been playing of late. And so far, we have indeed covered the Conquest of Mexico. Uh, we have covered the... Uh, well, the Blood and Iron, that was a free LC before Wars in the Americas. We've done the Pacific War. So only two ones from the new DLC, or two standalone ones, I should say. We haven't covered is Paraguay under siege. Obviously, we are covering the war between Paraguay and primarily Brazil and Argentina, but part of Uruguay as well. Uh, and remember the main, which is the American Spanish Civil War. Uh, so I'm actually I'm actually playing this one as a play by email game against uh, Josie Reporter, and uh, so I don't want to I don't want to get any sneak peeks of of what's coming up. So I'm going through that one blind. So I think today and tonight, uh, and or this series, depending on how you watch us, we're going to be covering the Paraguay under siege. So we've got 48 turns, so similar size to them all. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the Triple Alliance here. Who are the historic winners? Uh, because they are, it looks like this scenario just covers the kind of, yeah, okay, 1866. So it's the tail end of the war. The war started in 64, I think it was. Um, so this is after Paraguay's initial kind of uh, offensives that eventually failed and then they've been driven back and now they're kind of holed up within Paraguay protecting the river through the forts and, and uh, the armies primarily of Brazil but with Argentine and, and Uruguayan support are uh, are pushing in towards the, the Paraguayan capital. Alright, so let's do... we'll play this one. And um, we will... Go oh, as the allies. And we're going to go, but oh, we'll keep on veteran. Well, that's okay. Uh, uh, but there's no camera this evening, so it won't be for this series. I uh, have a chock full of cold, and nobody needs to see that. Keep all our standard tokens. I do like using NATO in most games, but for, I don't know, I quite like the 3D models in this one. Oh wow! Starts with a fairly well-established front line. With some serious attacks going on from Paraguayan artillery. Now it's interesting. At the start of the war, Paraguay had a massive military, albeit with some seriously outdated equipment. The old brown vest muskets were a mainstay of their armed forces. And they obviously struggled economically to uh, supply and logistics and food and all that good stuff it required to support armed defensive. So. This might be an interesting one to play from both sides, actually. Oh, we are getting uh, wrecked. Is dead in turn one. All right. Oh, when he died. Okay, eleven brigades, two brigades down. Here we go. For more, after more than a year of war, the combined force of the Triple Alliance have finally set foot on Paraguayan soil. We must now confront Marshal Lopez Citadel of hum Humetia, said to be the strongest fortress in South America. Our Navy's victory at the Arriachulu last year ensured that Lopez's Navy will pose no meaningful threat to our advance up the Paraguay River. However, the river is strongly defended by numerous forts that will likely require a land campaign to disable. Fortunately, our command river allows us to ensure that all our infantry will be guaranteed a minimum supply of three at all times. Well, that is quite handy. Humatia, despite its impressive fortification, possesses no arms production facilities of its own. Our commanders therefore believe that it may be desirable to isolate the fortress by capturing the town of Pilar before confronting the fortress defences themselves. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, prairie, prairie, where, where are these places? Oh, Humantia there. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of forts. And where is...
Pilar. Oh, all the way up here. Interesting. Okay, we've got a few gunboats. We got a, we have a large army. We've got a reasonable number of MPP. Well, I want to start whittling the way. Give me a quick scoop. How's the, arm, the army situations? It's pretty even actually. Twenty six to Paraguay. We've got thirty two. Uh, we've got loads of forts, but they uh, got a couple of naval vessels. Let's see where they turn their head. And what have we got in the production chain at the minute? Boats, 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 and some balloons. Okay. And we can have a lot of brigades. Oh, this might turn into a chunky affair. Okay, so what's the general strategy going to be? Well, supply, I'm assuming, is pretty garbage. It's okay at the front lines. It tails away quite quickly, so use of HQ is going to be pretty important. And there is... Uh, there's things like this intrigue me. How much ability do we have to, um, you know do a bit of naval and f shenanigans and we do have some long range amphibious transports available to start landing in a variety of places maybe we can make a move for Kuruzu straight off the bat you know we've got a general we've got some troops stick on some boats and we'll go and and make a fight up here while we're pushing at the bottom open up a second front i mean i quite like that idea they've got 28 troops so what did you I don't know, so maybe 15, 16 here. We'll have a few garrisons. Okay. And I don't really care about that route over there. Not really. To be perfectly honest, there's nothing interesting over here. Okay. There's no other supplies until you get in this way. Yeah, maybe we go for... Cruzu. As a bit of a supply base, but even then, how did, did I? Have, well, we it'd be good to get a fort. Uh, it really doesn't open up too much because I'm guessing there's gonna be defenders in around this fortification. So perhaps we also do want to come look coming in against Chuhi if that's navigable. And threatening the rear, there's no supply in here though. Interesting. I don't. has zero value supply so even if we stuck a general in there we're only getting like three uh, okay well this is cool all right let's send our boats up river i feel that's uh no brainer stage one i think i would like to at least attempt some naval things pretty early so let's do that I need you two, I need him, and can you do it? No, you're not in the right place, okay. Okay, good, we'll send all of you across the river. You, I mean, you're an Argentine guy, hanging on his own, so you're just going to get forward to support these troops. Speaking of these fine troops, what have we got? How, where can we bombard and generally cause some unpleasantness. I would like to push them back from here, because that's adjacent to my cannons. Uh, our supply at the front is currently five. So I'd also want to push Osorio here forward. Let's bring you over to this position. Some pretty poor odds. Alright, let's see if we can Push them back from this tile. Oh, you'll need one shell, okay. You've got one shell. Three to two, three to two. Mm. And against, ah, oh, it's brigade against, uh, sorry, a, a brigade against a battalion as well. That's not particularly favorable odds. Why is it so hard to punch through these people? Entrenchments, I'm guessing. So even, yeah, so we take that town, that doesn't help us though. If we check uh, supply, no, no, it does. It does have a town of supply. Okay, maybe it's just not showing up until I take them. Is that how it's always worked? I'm now, I'm now doubting myself. Uh, okay. 
and how much value in there and just trying to smash my head against a fairly solid wall here. Right, I want to swing the horses out this way. I want to move you forward to improve my supply situation, yes. Mm, marginally. I need to get some new fresh troops forward here. Let's put you there, apparently you can still defend. Let's definitely swap these two out because this guy's having a bit of a bad day. I want to send the horses out continue over this way. We'll maybe do some marauding through the forest to see what we can find. And uh, yeah, let's maybe set up a position where we could do a little bit of flanking, perhaps. We'll need to keep a little bit of strength and depth. Horsey boys, uh, go out to the horse flank. Okay, this seems like an okay setup, and we'll see if we can't push them in and around uh, this side of the fortifications. Harvey just wants to take that and... Well, what money could get here? Three... Six... Eight. I could swap him in. Alright. This is expensive, but I also get a feeling we're perhaps the richer team. That's what you want to call us? Oh. That was disappointing. Oh, he's going to survive a one, isn't he? So that's deeply, deeply upsetting. But them's the brakes. Okay. Uh, you need to get on a boat. But I've also blocked the harbour, so I'll wait a turn. I think that's us. Uh, we can spend some money. Yeah, I do feel like I've got a reasonable chunk of change. I'm assuming uh, no one to upgrade. Let's do some purchases. Cavalry, artillery, or men. Which are at 200, and I can afford one of these if I would so like. Let us do that. Maybe we'll grab another cavalry. Ourselves a little bit of a force out here. Problem is, they want an HQ, we'll be able to keep up with them, but yeah, we can maybe look at that. Uh, Argentine fighting spirit's pretty poor, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Paraguay is fine. Uh, do I have any, a report upon their income? I will, eventually. One seven five. What do we collect? I just want to know how if we out spend them, earn them. Sorry, so we'll have an idea. What value? So Brazil gets two fifty, and Argentina got seventy five. It's pretty rubbish, Argentina. But yeah, so we've got what's that like an extra fifty percent? So I think we can take slightly more expensive attacks on a purely cost basis to try and punch through. rubbish. Yeah, she just did in that city. Oh, four. Ouch. Okay. This is gonna hurt. Alright, we need to start destroying these units. I don't feel this has been a good start to things. That was okay, but I kind of wish he hadn't run away, to be perfectly honest.
presumably someone standing here who's going to walk into me and cause me a large amount of pain. Really a four two. I need to. I just need to keep him weak. This is not making the good feels, and your supply is two. That's pretty terrible. I need you. Well, actually, I need you to swing out. Way to there. And we can have you push forward there. And everyone's supply is okay apart from that one spot. You guys should get minimum supply of three if I. The game wasn't lying about how this works. Maybe I'll just bring up the heal. Maybe we'll see if we try and, can't cut these people off. They might get minimum supply as well. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Let us go ahead of river. Uh, you gentlemen need some amphibious supplies. Or transports, I should say. Money as Brazil, I think I'm gonna need more men. Prussian force defeat Austrian army at Konigratz. Okay. That horse has just pulled by. Okay. Wow, they have long range guns. They hurt. Okay, good to know force can attack at range. Water two, man. This is brutal. Although, interesting, I don't actually need this position. What I need to do is start destroying units. Okay, this is a good start. Three more Argentine brigades, or four more of them, excellent. Can you guys do the sail mode? You can, excellent. You won't be able to drop off, but that's okay. So if I'm running up here, we just do want to spend a little bit of time and effort trying to soften this dude up, maybe. Uh, mm -mm. sure. Hey, they even went in my favor. Okay, suddenly feeling very happy about this. Let's get you up to here. Okay. 
Okay. Is that because I went past the fort? Mm, could be. No doubting their ability to actually take this blasted thing. Ah, that's better. All right. Well, that worked surprisingly well. Let's get you ashore. We'll get the rest of the lads up there at post haste. I didn't even need the amphibious transports for these ones. Oh, you can still do it even after a long range skedaddle. Oh, I like that. Um, I'm assuming there's someone there. Yeah, that's good. But we can push up. And I'm assuming there's going to be someone here as well. And then we have the next fort to deal with. But that's a start, I think. No. I'm, uh, a terrible misclick. Actually, I could, have, I could have probably done that. Okay, that's fine. We'll have an, an arm up here. Is four going to be enough to push through? Honestly, I don't know. And we should probably pull back you and get you topped off. And you as well, actually. Hey, do you know what? At least it's some kind of progress which has been sorely lacking. So you have a supply of zero. You have a supply of one. Okay. So to do definitely need to watch I'm doing. I need to probably need my my, my What's your more scouts? Oh, you guys are horribly beat up. Let's uh, refresh this front line. Hmm. You do have a range of two. Uh, I mean, it feels slight in our favor. And then you run away to fight again another day. The question is, do we actually want to start taking these positions? It's slightly fortified. Just what we want to do is knock him out so we can get in start get, try and get in behind the fortification lines. Although there is a second one. And it's, it's just costing us lots of Oh, you've got no points to reinforce. Lots of men. And I don't have the vision here. Sight range of one is pretty brutal. Because I walk up here, I take an attack, I lose, what, like, 3-4? And then next time bad things happen to me. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to pull you back over here. So I, don't, I want your, need your scouting ability, your sighting ability to pop positions like this. So we're going to leave things as they are for just now. I think these four gents are just going to... Uh, I can't be on transport. Come and reinforce this front line. None of these attacks seem like uh, fun times. Okay. Could, uh, how much does it replace you? Ah, yes, let's do that. Much, much better, General. That's a, that's a good swap. And it'd be good to get uh, Parner over here to help push your supply this way. Maybe we can try and come in behind. We shall see. Okay. Tricky one, this. Marshal Lopez ordered a decimation of Cruz's defenders following the retreat from the fort. That seems harsh. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot about that two range. Mm, fair. Yeah, that was very silly. I'm not a fan of how his divisions seem to quite handily and easily wreck my brigades. I find it deeply upsetting. Right, I'll put you people out there. Here. You get on a boat. And I think just, yeah, just up here. Boop. Right, let's pull back. There's no point just getting our face shot off. Are you in of supply? So it should be... Yeah, okay, you weren't even in supply, right? Let's need to get that time to recover a little bit. You can't go in this port? Huh. Interesting. And not very useful. I don't really want to send you all the way down here. But one may have to. I think we'd scout out Chuhi here. Huh? Oh, hello. That's mild lyrating. Okay, I'll have to do it. Oh, my, my boat. Right, well, you're definitely about to go uh, south. I'll sneak if we bring in, we could try ninja that as well. Maybe I shall just bring you up the river and you can go take Garibaldi. Shoot that an extended range thing. Just for the sake of taking another town. Hello, at least that gives us somewhere to close in upon. Just can't help but feel it's going to hurt. You've got three moving points left, so I move you in. You're probably going to get stuck there. I mean, your readiness morale, pretty poor. That may not end well for you. That's a great position if there's no one there. I can't remember if I could say there or not. I say it's a great position. That's going to be so far as supply. It's uh, actually not terrible at all. Okay. Five one. Come on, man. Uh, let's see if we can see off this fellow again. Oh. So running away is uh, pretty brutal. Your supply is four. I don't like supply four. I'm going to shift you up once you have better supply. And your supply is terrible as well. Let's pull you back. Because quite frankly, if they push forward, even if it's Tatus Peninsula, I don't really care. Things. I want my horse to stand here so you can see what's going on. Okay, that's got my sight. This is good. Which means I can push forward... Uh, you've already attacked. Oh, I'd love to have got someone in there to attack that um, HQ. We might be able to do here. No. 
Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, I'll cut to you. Okay, in our count here, we're going to probably shift over a bit as well. And you guys can pull out. Good. Starting to get a little bit of a hand of it. I'm very worried about what's going to happen over here next time. I need to come back from the wilderness, literally. Uh, let's bring you to front line. Yeah, let's bring you up. And... You guys are all pretty good. Seems fine. Alright, that's the turn. Forward progress, perhaps. Oh. That's upsetting. Two two, I'll take that. An unusually straight up fight. Oh my god, their range is massive. Which makes this a fairly terrible position to be in. I don't have to try and um, see these gentlemen off. I'm not sure it's really going to work out that way. I can, actually, this would be handy if I can kill you off. Like so. I then need to get the horse into this position so we can see what's there. Which is probably going to mean I have to potentially pull back with you, which is maybe not the worst decision because you're a bit beat up. So let's do this. I'm going to bring you over here. Hello, line of sight. So I can grab someone who hasn't attacked yet. Actually, like you? Can you get up here? Yeah. Okay, that's very, very satisfying. Okay, no doubt they'll pop out again, but that was a good outcome. I think two, four, five. That's all I've really got. And it will get better as their horse dwindles. Well, that's a terrible start. Let's go for it. I want to start eradicating some of these units. Probably to my own detriment. Good. Okay, put you in the town. I should help us fly around here. Yeah, that's all, all pretty lovely, really. You are not doing much, my friend. You need to head over to support this attack. A 
Okay, let's get you guys. I'll probably spend a turn force marching to get you in vaguely right position, because I think that would be valuable. And we'll get you all over as well. Okay. Okay, you can't get past this port. Fine. You can't get this river. Can you... I don't know. Mm, I'm unsure what to do with these gentlemen now. I'm going to steal this town. Just because I can. Oh, this doesn't count as my port for some reason. Ah, that's the problem. Okay, good. You are going to come here, and you're going to come here, and we can get you healed up. And then, uh, yeah, we're probably going to have to re-embark some new forces. But only the fact that you can be seen and can be shot at. And our current supply in this direction is oh, still a two. It's going to take a while before that supply base recovers. Mm. If I just run you both away, I hopefully don't have the oomph to shoot all the way over to uh, Grozo itself. Excuse me. And then we will prepare another invasion for... I don't really know where, actually. Potentially Chewy. Try and push up this direction. then unlock the port from behind. That may be the way we go. Okay. Who is still left? You, which is fine. Okay, just... Yo, Sebastian Kiel, thank you for the subscription over on YouTube. Much appreciated. Uh, new units, let's get them down. One more Brazilian Brigade, and purchasing 500 points from Brazil, that is quite nice. Cannons, cannons are awesome. Always required, Brigade. Or maybe that's when we start sending up the river as well. Alright, let's see what pain the Paraguayans bring. Sensible decision to run away. These, uh, these attacks are brutal because it's just free damage they're inflicting. Ooh, that's, that could be a unit we can kill. Because presumably they struggle to reinforce them because their units will deploy near the capital. Maybe. I Actually, I don't know where all they can de deploy. Okay, these guys did not get shot up, which is good. Having said, the supply is still five, so it's going to be a couple of turns before they're sufficiently healthy to heal up to max. I mean, well, I would quite like to see if I can push through this little gap with these Argentinians, probably supported by at least a horse. Well, let's use a Brazilian horse, why not? That was far too aggressive a move there, I didn't mean to do that. And I got everything I deserved. Uh, and the supply of new towns only a two. Again, I'll have to get some turns for it to repair itself. Which is always a bit frustrating, but c'est la vie. Let's see if we can go up and nab a few more towns. Uh, I'm going to bring you over in this direction. So you can help us take care of this little speed bump. Okay. We'll do a little bit of starving them out. And you let's force march you north, uh, and let's force march you north as well. You. Yeah. 
probably should stick with your Argentine compatriots, but maybe we'll hold you where you are. This seems like a good ex an opportunity to deal a blow to this unit. I'll do that and then I'll maybe run away. Don't run away, please, actually. So it's two things. I want him to stand still and me to run away. Okay, because this allows us to get in behind their fortifications. Okay, I'm making surprising progress here, to be perfectly honest. Because the fortifications only defend you against certain sides of the hexes, so this should be a straight up attack. If we can get them pushed for their supply, then these guys are all just dead. Now, obviously we do have to survive long enough to... Uh, actually take the supply. Let's pull you out. Actually, there's probably enough. He's not going to push into that gap. And our units are definitely thin on the ground. Uh, I would rather you have full, but I will take that pause to get up to six as our supply builds. This is definitely one all about supply. Which I did expect coming into it, but... Uh, Maybe not quite to this extent. Now, do I want you to reinforce up here? And if I did that, where would I put you? And I don't know is the long and the short answer. Now, interestingly, we can amphibia land here and walk up to take this port. And then, theoretically, we could ninja in behind these fortifications. Right, you can just walk. Hmm, that's an interesting point. We'll supply down here next turn. Yeah, four, actually. here. Let's see how far you can make it. I might need to get uh, Porto Alguer to sit in Garibaldi. Can you bombard the land? Not particularly well. River crossing, serious defense fortifications. I just think going at that head on is not a sensible choice. So either we're going to ferry, I think we're going to ferry these people over to Garibaldi and head up to Porto Elisario and potentially just keep going get in here because we need to do some naval landings to secure these ports but having said that we could do that fine what we can't do is get past all this stuff you know we can't bring our boats up here Thoughts, thoughts to be had. Well, my current thought is we're making some kind of progress, so let's just be happy with that. Uh, 160 is probably not enough to do anything, so let's not. Let's just end our turn, and I will muse what I want to do with my amphibious force. Paraguay and Marshal Lopez and Argentine President Mitra meet on the battlefield and have high tea. And that's where we're going to bring this first one to a close. So, uh, yeah, it was relatively steady opening progress. Harder graft than I was expecting it to be. The Paraguayans bring up a really good fight. Um, as you can see, just in the turn play here, they actually are pulling out of that initial positions, which might just give us a break to go forward. I enjoyed the... the aspects of a river and the naval invasions and I think it's a really interestingly designed scenario uh, but there's a lot of legs left on this one to see if we can uh, well first can we defeat the Paraguayans and secondly can we defeat them in time so without uh, any more wibbly wobbly I will call it a day there thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!